everyone. My name is Dr. Marshall, and today I'm going to talk to you about my research project, Making the Mood, uh, Older Adults' Decisions About Moving into a Safety Living Facility. First, I just want to say thank you to my research team. We had Rose, Erica, Tasha, and Adriana working on this research project from start to finish, including um, on this manuscript in particular. Then we had help from Kathy, Sarah, and Guadalupe on earlier parts of this study. So today I'm going to talk about a little bit from our current manuscript where we are looking to understand the decision-making process of older adults in making the move to assisted living facilities. So we did this through one-hour interviews with current residents in an assisted living facility. We asked questions about who helped make the decision to move, why did they decide to move, what factors were important in choosing the facility, and how do they feel about the decision. So um, we interviewed 46 participants. Their average age was 83 years old. 61% of them were widowed and living in an apartment alone. 76% um, were female. 24% were newly moved into the facility within um, two years. And you can see our spread of participants living um, there for two to five years or six plus years. 86% reported being in good, very good or excellent health. So today I'm just going to talk through quickly um, the four different questions and what we found so far. So our first question, who helped make the decision? We found that 85% of participants were involved in the decision. And they mostly either made the decision alone or had some assistance from their family members, which were often their adult children, in making the decision. Whereas 15% of our participants were not involved in the decision at all, either children or um, other family members or even doctors in a hospital setting made the decision on where they would be moving and kind of facilitated that move um, without the participant being involved. Next, we wanted to know why did they move out of their current home? Um, the biggest citation for why they needed to move were changes in health. And often they mentioned a fall and um, risk of future falls as a reason why they were concerned about moving in their home and wanting to move into a city. Many of them also looked for social support, a desire to be able to socialize with others, not feel alone, have someone to have a meal with. And finally, um, about half of our participants were really preparing for their future needs, thinking about things like having the convenience of amenities, like food and some situation, being closer to family, um, not being a burden on their children when they do have health issues, and considering their finances. It's really just anticipating what they might need in the future and trying to plan for it now. Thinking about factors in terms of how they chose the facility that they ultimately moved into, um, about 57% of our sample actually looked at more than one facility and researched um, multiple locations before uh, moving in. So the things that they were looking for included affordability, proximity to family, Familiarity, which could have been culture, religion, ethnicity, um, the neighborhood that they're in, maybe people living there that they already know or having some sort of connection to the facility already. Um, a, a large percentage of our persons were looking for particular building amenities, which might have been, you know, the types of um, rooms and layouts, the amount of space they would get food and transportation being offered, the types of activities, things like that, the beauty, the comfort, the kind of overall feeling of being in the, the atmosphere of it. And then um, social activities, the types and frequency of activities and the participation level of current residents were all things that um, were mentioned as well. Finally, thinking about how they felt about the decision, a large um, percentage of our participants reported feeling positive or neutral. And sometimes um, they were very ha enthusiastically happy, um, feeling blessed and grateful. And other times it was more of a content or adjusted feeling. Some of our participants were um, adjusted at this point, but had ambivalent feelings where they had both positive and negative feelings about this move. And so we kind of call this adjusted ambivalent. And then we have 11% of our group that had negative, very unhappy, or nothing positive to say about their experience, um, you know, feelings of regret about moving. 
So overall, the majority of older adults appear to adjust well to their mood. However, our sampling mostly includes older adults that reported feeling positive about life and good health and have positive relationships. And um, they looked at multiple facilities and were involved in the decision to move. So this could not, this could be representing a particularly well-adjusted group of older adults. We might be missing out on those, uh, those results that do not adjust well. Next steps include looking more specifically at older adults who reported negative feelings to see if they differ in other ways from the rest of our participants about how they responded. So um, with that, I will say thank you. And if you have any questions or you want to chat about our study, um, my email address is on this slide. Thank you.